Hey everyone, welcome to this presentation. I was recently asked on Instagram if I know anything about federal grants or loans for felons. And as it so happens, I know absolutely nothing. You know, I work with organizational grants. I don't get involved ever with you know, loans or grants of any type for individuals. Um, of course, just because I haven't heard of them doesn't mean they don't exist. My gut tells me this area has huge potential for scam artists looking to defraud people, you know, who are in a difficult or vulnerable position. But the question intrigued me, though, so I decided to do a little research. Join me, won't you? If you don't have time to sit through the whole presentation, here's what I discovered. <laughs> So for those of you still watching, here's how I researched the subject. You know, I started with the search term loans for felons or former inmates, and I looked at 12 sites on the first three pages of the search results. And what I found will shock you. Actually, it probably won't. Anyway, I found several sites using money bag clip art and if you are familiar with any of my other content you know that i i just i hate you know cheesy artwork i don't think legitimate sites need to use it so that's always a red flag for me um almost all of the 12 sites that i've visited claim that the government makes grants to felons but yeah, after digging a little deeper, they're actually describing grant programs for organizations that operate like reentry, job training, and mentoring programs for people who are transitioning back to society that's not actual cash to former inmates. And most of the sites are optimized to attract visitors who will then click on one of the advertisements distinguished or disguised as um, as information you know the the text ads nowadays just blend in so well with content it's often difficult to distinguish between legitimate information and a link to an annoying sales pitch you know one site makes this claim without any evidence to support it. No, no literature citation, no news reference, no links to federal or state websites. You know, if you're going to make a claim, you should be able to back it up. I mean, if this claim was actually true, it doesn't do the reader any good without links to sites for more information. I mean, why would you tell someone this if you can't help them get to a point where they can use the information? So, you know, beware of claims that, that can't be backed up. One site recommended that current inmates should check with their facility about programs available to them before they leave prison. I mean, that's, I mean, that's actually a fairly decent suggestion. But the problem is most, in most inmates don't have access to the internet, and unless they have a friend or a family member doing the online research for them, they'll never see this particular suggestion. Two sites encouraged people to visit grants.gov and to fill out application packages associated with each grant opportunity they find. And well, now here's the problem with that. The federal grants for individuals are extremely rare rare and the grants made on grants.gov go to either organizations or to established professionals like researchers and three sites suggested visiting the u.s department of labor um, the employment and training administration for grants again the problem is that agency doesn't make grants to individuals you know i've worked with eta grants they go to states, counties, cities, and some nonprofits for programs that help inmates after they're released from prison. There aren't any direct cash grants to the individuals.
One site said federal grants to felons could be used to start a business. They even provided a ton of links to federal agencies, and it, frankly, it looked really impressive. But the site failed to mention that all the agencies they listed only provide grants to organizations and local governments. And just as a side note, it's been shown time and time again that grants to start a business do not exist. You know, PolitiFact gave it four Pinocchios or Pants on Fire or whatever the hell rating system they use. And I made a video uh, on YouTube presenting, you know, facts to expose the myth of federal grants to start a business. They just don't exist. You know, only, <clears throat> excuse me, only one site that I visited actually suggested don't use grants.gov and don't look to other federal websites for grants, which was refreshingly honest. And this blog post I came across might have been the most honest statement that I found in my search. You know, the author went on to say, you know, there's, there's no cash grants uh, to former inmates. You know, all the money goes to organizations that will put, you know, felons in touch with, um, with the resources they need to make their transition back into society. But as far as grants to individuals, they just, they're not out there. So, you know, in conclusion, I mean, not everything in my search was bad. You know, nearly all the websites that I visited provided some good advice. You know, their information on grants and loans was either inaccurate or misleading, but that shouldn't discount the other resources they provided. You know, many of them had links to nonprofits or public agencies offering reentry programs uh, to help with the transition, and some of them had information about specific industries and or you know, companies that are receptive to hiring felons, and a, a few sites had details about specific education grants and loans that former inmates could consider. I didn't find anything resembling a scam. Um, none of the sites I visited were offering anything for sale. You know, I, I believe the site owners had good intentions, but are just slightly misinformed about grants and loans, which you know, is understandable. A lot of information people have on grants comes through word of mouth, and the information gets changed or distorted from one person to the next. You know, it's kind of like that old telephone game that we used to play in elementary school. You know, the first person hears the ball is red, and by the time it gets around to the 20th or 25th kid, the message is kazoos make funny noises. And you'll notice I didn't provide links to any of the sites that I visited. Um, if you use the same search term that I use, you'll, you'll come across those sites. You know, I wasn't looking to call anyone out with this video. You know, like I said, there was a lot of de decent information out there. And you know, I don't want to shame anyone because a small portion of their information was, you know, inaccurate or, you know, misleading. You know, had I found some scams or really fraudulent information, I'd have no problem revealing the sites and, and warning people to stay away. You know, as it is, you know, I believe that the sites, the sites I looked at were developed by well-meaning people who were just given bad information about grants and loans, and they regurgitated it. You know, should they be publicly called out for that? I don't think so. Just like, like anything else on the internet, just, you know, use the good information you find and, and toss the rest aside. So, if, you know, if you're recently out of prison or if you have a loved one being released soon, the best places to start looking for assistance would be either your city or county Department of Human Assistance, some counties have different names for that department. Just It's the one that handles housing assistance, welfare, Medicaid, or Medi-Cal if you're in California, disability, and whatnot. Um, nonprofit organizations are good, ones that specialize in social services. And 
you know, local churches always have a lot of information to help uh, to help people. Always be cautious of scams, of course. Just because I didn't find any in my, you know, albeit very limited search, um, doesn't mean they don't exist. They're probably out there somewhere. So keep an eye out. Well, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, if you enjoyed the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and subscribe if you want to see future presentations. I greatly appreciate the time you took to listen to this and to watch these slides. And um, that's all I've got to say. Okay, thanks.